We're still investigating the death of the 57-year-old man at Woolly Gavin, which occurred on the 21st. We're um, seeking public assistance in relation to any information that may help us. Particularly, we're looking for people that may live in the area that have um, closed-circuit television on their houses. We'd like to speak with them and see if they've got any footage that may assist us. Also looking for anyone that's seen anyone suspicious or a, a vehicle out of place. Uh, where, the, where the gentleman lived is quite a, a closed pocket with limited access. So we're looking for uh, the neighbours that may have seen a car that doesn't fit or they've never seen or looks odd. So if they could come forward, that would be great. Uh, at this point, uh, investigations are going out a number of leads. And we're always confident we're going to successfully resolve with them. Can you tell us about the, the neighbour who heard the raised voices? One of the uh, witnesses uh, heard raised voices and then heard a noise at which he, he, he assumes to be a gunshot. So uh, can we safely assume there was some sort of argument or raising of voices before he was actually killed? Certainly appears that there been some sort of confrontation. Can you talk us through the time frame as to when the incident is said to have occurred and when the body was found? We believe that it's occurred sometime between um, say 8.30 on the Tuesday night through to about 9.15. Located at two minutes later, about 6 p.m. on the 23rd. Have you been able to make any links yet to his yeah. previous work in the tax department or his new position with the Referees Association? No, but they're obviously long for inquiry that we're running out at this point. At this point, there's nothing to suggest there's any links to those associations and the dead. Police divers have any success with that? No, but they'll be back again tomorrow. And it's, it's, as you probably saw, the creek's quite murky and, and it's not an easy place to search, so we're doing the best we can. What are they looking for? Any evidence, uh, all, the, all we're hopeful that we might be able to find a weapon, but you don't know what you'll find unless you look. And who in located the man's to... body? Sorry? Who located the man's body? Oh, uh, a friend. Uh, worried he hadn't heard from him for a couple of days and he went around visiting. Was he in a relationship? No. Do you know what type of gun was used yet? Uh, at this stage, we're not prepared to sort of disclose that. So. Had he had previous relationships, any marriages, anything like that? No, he's been a, a single man his whole life, uh, no children, and he's only got the one sister. Is there any sign that he uh, he was surprised by his killer uh, down down south? It certainly would appear that it would be unexpected. Without going into the details, it, uh, it's an unusual. Is it possible that his killer was lying in wait for him? Oh, it, it's of course it's possible, but that's one of the lines of inquiry that we're running out. What, single shot? Yes, at this stage that appears so. Do you know what he was doing in uh, you know, the two hours before he was killed. I mean, had he been out and had he arrived home? Is that what is believed to have happened? Yes, he'd been uh, at a uh, referee's training night and he'd come home after that. Um, do you think that, or is there a sign that he was killed soon after his return or perhaps even upon his return? It certainly appears that it's very close to his return home. Um, sorry, sorry, you said um, police are looking at um, whether there's any links to his work at the tax office or with the referees association, but there's no clear length yet. Um, can you explain what kind of avenues have been going, or have uh, been travelled down in both of those areas? Obviously we look at all people that are associated with the deceased as part of their history, we look at all their employment, their social spheres, so we speak to everyone that might have known him and see if that might lead us towards a uh, centre. And that's one of the things we want from the public, anyone who may have seen him in the last month or had any association with him. Because as he was a bit of a loner, we're sort of, it's very hard to find people that know him. Was there, there was um, no clear evidence of a break-in or anything like that. Would that indicate that he perhaps welcomed this person into his home prior to what happened? There's no sign of a break-in, so we can't discount it. Was there any trouble in, in the street, any of the neighbours or premises or anything like that? No, there's nothing to suggest there's any issue in the street. But police obviously aren't treating this as a random attack? No. Is there any we believe it to be someone you may know or have had some sort of association with them. Well, he's a bit of a loner, but does that mean he might be someone who doesn't necessarily have close friends, but obviously acquaintances if he's involved in That's the That's right. He's, he's been in, uh, you know, organisations for you know, nearly his whole life, so he's got lots of acquaintances, but it doesn't seem like he's got many close friends. Have you got a motive yet for, was there any, any stolen? No, not at this time. Um, he, he was never in trouble with the law? No. Was there, um... Earlier that night when he was at the referee's training, was there any heated moments, any altercations, anything like that? There was meetings and training. We're still looking into what exactly occurred at the, uh, at the training site. But I just appreciate lots of people there, so lots of people talk. Is there any sign he had en entered his home upon arrival that night? It's unclear at this stage. 
Did he travel, uh, sorry, when he left his home, do police believe that he usually left his garage door area open? Generally, the, the information we've got so far, that's his usual course of practice, it was left open, and when he's home, it's shut. So you say police have several lines of inquiry, but is there any real evidence yet? Is there any, I mean, have you got much to go on, or is this just a, a baffling mystery? mystery it's certainly a difficult matter. Um, we, as I say, we're looking down a number of lines of inquiry, and we're hopeful that one of them will lead to a successful outcome. Uh, it's really too early to say whether those, those lines of inquiry are going to be put were able to do any sort of assistance or support. How many people were at the event that he was at earlier in the evening? There were three. I had like this Dozens and dozens of people. Uh, have you had much help from the public yet at all? Yeah, we're, we're, getting, uh, we're getting a number of calls to Forest Office and we encourage people to do that. So there's a, more information. Uh, the smallest bit might mean something to us, so if people can come forward, that would be great. And have those calls had much, have those calls had much to offer or are they really people you talked about that we saw in that last month or just call and say? Generally, it's just more people that know him, and they're other ones in quite that might lead in other directions. So they're keen to talk to one another. It's been most people part of the investigation so far. Well. Probably the fact that he is such a, a loner. It's quite difficult when people don't have much of a circle of friends to help us with uh, those initial background things. Um, he uh, gambling debts weren't a factor in his life. No, no he's financially secure, so he's no issue. Signs of jealousy from, from other people or anything like that at his new position, or not, not that we're aware of, but we, we're not discounting anything like everything is open on the table at the moment. So, did, was he working as an was he actively working as a referee as well as being in this, um, He's, being the head of the association? He was the president, and I'm not quite sure as to what the actual details are, but I don't think he was actually on the field. Was he on a pension? Did no, he was self under retiree, and he owned his own home. Sorry? He owned his own home? Yes. Did he own any other property? I don't know. And the confirmed police don't think there's any link with the house fire last year? No, we don't believe so. Life insurance, things like that, that, that hasn't been It's one of those inquiries that we look at. It's one of those many things that we look at. Generally, these type of issues. Do you believe it was a, he was met by a solitary killer? We don't know. And why has the, the house fire thing been sort of ruled out as something that, that might be related? Was that an accident? We're confident that it was an electrical fault. Um, the evidence at the scene at the time suggests that. So it's, again, it's one of those things that we're revisiting to make sure that it's not linked, but we don't believe it to be. And um, the, the neighbour didn't mention how many voices he thinks he heard. No, he heard raised voices. Is, it, is, is there any suspects at all at the moment or anyone sort of assisting police with their inquiry? No, not at this time. Confirm something? Yes. Police look at whether there was, you know, in his refereeing days, if there 